Thank you very much, and thank each of you for being here with us this morning. I'm joined by Dick Anderson, our county manager. Uh, let me begin with uh, a few comments about today's runoff election. Both are underway now, District 30, uh, 39, uh, Senate District 39, and the uh, Congressional District uh, 5. There were seven early voting locations. There are 87 polling locations today for the District 39 race. There are 197 polling locations for the District 5 race, and 44 of those overlap. There were approximately 200 absentee ballots that were cast. Early voting for the Congressional District 5 race, there were 5,993 people who voted early for the District 5 race. And early voting for the Senate District 39, 1,560. Very low, and we expect uh, somewhere in the neighborhood of a 5% to 7% turnout. And when I voted at my precinct this morning at 8.30, I'm normally the first one to vote. I knew there wouldn't be a lot of people. I voted at 8.30, and I was a third person, which is indicative of how, uh, what the turnout is going to be today. Now, let me fast forward to comments that continue to be made by the, either the Secretary of State or representatives of the Secretary of State and representatives of the President of the United States of America. I'm still not clear as to why they continue to pick on Fulton County, Georgia. We're the largest county in the state of Georgia, the largest of 159. I cannot speak to what the other 158 counties in Georgia are doing but I can tell you beyond a shadow of a doubt that within Fulton County, Georgia, there was no hanky-panky whatsoever with respect to the recent election. Zero. And I challenge anyone from the President of the United States office, his representatives, Secretary of State of Georgia's office to come forward with any proof that they have that would contradict what I'm saying. What I said before, and I'll say again today as loudly as I can, either put up or shut up, our elections in Fulton County are fair. We hold elections sacred in Fulton County. We have doubled the amount of money from $17 million to in excess of some $35 million that we will have spent on elections this year to get them right. Our process has been open. It has been fair and it has been transparent, and I'm really sick and tired of folk who do not know what they're talking about continue to criticize Fulton County. We're the largest county in the state of Georgia, and we're doing our job by all, all accounts, including some who are criticizing us now. We received an A-plus for our work in the recent election, so to come full circle and all of a sudden criticize us uh, makes no sense whatsoever. So again, it is time to either put up or shut up. Thank you. Yes. That is totally incorrect. Yes. Prove that. Prove that. I'm not a technical person, but we had the necessary personnel here. We had two servers, one broke. If you go back to the beginning with respect to the manufacturer, that's where all of his criticism should begin. But we have done our job, we continue to do our job, and to, to continue to criticize our hardworking employees who are here, uh, doing a great job for us, doing a great job for the citizens of Fulton County, and subsequently to the, for the state of Georgia and based upon what's going to happen on January 5th, even for the United States of America. So I'm proud of the work that our employees are doing and I'm not going to put up with this criticism. The, the crash is all I know is that there was a crash. Fulton County employees did not crash. The server crashed. And that server, by the way, was a Secretary of State and a manufacturer's server. It was not a server 
of Fulton County. We don't manufacture servers. We didn't have anyone fly in to manufacture. There was a person here from Dominion early on, couldn't fix it. Someone came in from Dominion yesterday, got here around 4 o'clock, I believe, and what that person has been doing since he or she has been here, uh, I do not know. That's my understanding. We're not cutting it close. We are, we are confident that we will meet the schedule that was set by the Secretary of State. We, we had planned to finish early, but for the server crashing, we were 88% complete when the server crashed. I have no idea what he's talking about. We're following the procedures that have been outlined for us. Uh, he needs to show us what he's talking about. Yes, ma'am. I can't comment on that because I don't know what he's talking about, but what I do know is that one of the servers crashed and it was not a Fulton County server, it was a Dominion server that was purchased by the Secretary of State of Georgia. There was a, uh, a representative from, uh, from Dominion here and when the server crashed, as I understand it, that person was asked to see if he could repair it, could not. Therefore, a call was made to headquarters. That person flew in yesterday, and what that person has done since he or she has been here, I do not know as I stand before you right now. We absolutely have. We have more than adequate staff. When, I, when the call went out to Fulton County employees to assist, we had more than enough uh, uh, Fulton County employees to volunteer to assist us. So staffing is not a problem. And I heard that he made a comment about that we didn't have enough people look around. And if we need more, we have more ready to come and to come to assist us. Yes. We I am confident that we will meet the midnight December 2nd deadline that was set by the Secretary of State, even in the absence of this uh, second server. 7 a.m. Eleven. All right, anything else? Over there where it was the whole time. Thank you very much, everyone. Thank you.